Hey, GB. I'm your news anchor host, Ty Williams. And I'm Christian Lanier. Today, we'll be talking about new teachers, sports, and new things around the school. We have some new people joining the Eagle staff this year. Indeed, we do. 13 new teachers, to be exact. Here are all the new teachers introducing themselves. Hi, I'm Mr. Jeremy Smith. I am a new teacher here at Green Valley. Uh, my schedule right here is I teach civics, a couple honors courses of civics, and I am doing a class right now, it's fourth hour here, I'm doing an intro to leadership class. I coach football, I'm a Christian, get to yell at him every once in a while, and it's a lot of fun. I'm happy to be here. Thank you, Coach Smith. Hi, I'm Mr. Hintz, and I teach choir here at Grand Valley High School. Hi, I'm Ms. Bomer. Uh, I teach ELA and Social Academic Strategies, and I coach softball, basketball, and track. Hi, I'm Ms. Wiley. I teach facts here at the high school, and I coach middle school cheerleading. Hi, I'm Ms. Norton. I teach honors bio and honors physical science, and I'm coaching girls swimming and track. Hi, I'm Mr. Matt Salyer. I teach environmental science and botany, and it's my first year here at Green Valley. I'm Flip Quarter. I teach world history, American history, and psychology, and I also am assistant softball coach and jack, uh, track and field coach throwing the javelin. All right, I'm Andrea Johnson, and I teach art here at the high school. Hello, my name is Mr. Miller, and I teach LA1, Honors LA1, and LA2. Mr. Horner, U.S. History, Wrestling. If you guys haven't seen any of them in the hall, make sure to stop by and welcome them to our building. A couple of the new teachers got lucky and got to be interviewed for this week's episode. Here's Lexi, Charlie, and Robin with Coach Horner. What's up, Grand Valley? I'm Ryland Smith. I'm here with Mr. Horner, the new addition to GV. Hi. All right, so what brought you to Grand Valley? Uh, I wanted to go fast. What sports are you coaching this year? Uh, wrestling and uh, hopefully NASCAR in the future. Go to teach that before. Uh, uh, Blue Springs South. How's your first week being at Grand Valley? F fast. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. I'm Rylan Smith, and if you see Mr. Horner around the calls, make sure you say what's up. Super excited to have so many new faces in our school. We also have two foreign exchange students this year, Bruno Caleras and Susanna Caballero. Let's welcome them to GV and make sure they have an amazing year. We have a new club at our school, eSports. For those of you who are interested, Nevea and Ayana ask Mr. Veller all about it. Hi, Mr. Veller. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Today we have a few questions for you. Okay. So our first question is, how does eSports work? Well, we are part of a, a Missouri organization called MOSEF. Um, it's Missouri Scholastic eSports Federation. And what we've done is we've joined in, and they offer a few games where they hold tournaments, and they will have playoffs, and then at the end of the year we'll end up uh, making trips down to different colleges to compete live in front of a, an actual audience, depending on how good our team does. Well, that's awesome. So our second question for today is, what is eSports exactly? So the, the actual definition is electronic sports, um, but basically it's any sort of competitive scene that takes place in some sort of way online or through, a, through technology is the easiest way to really describe it. Um, because there are thousands of games that are under the quotations of esports, but um, most of the time people only think of those big popular ones, Fortnite, Valorant, um, games that come up a lot. Great. That's great. So, for our last question today is, has esports started, and if it has, how do you join? So eSports has started. It started this week for the fall season. Um, unfortunately, if you're wanting to look to get into it this fall, we are already closed on getting signed up for it. However, we have another season in the spring, and we offer three other games that we'll be playing in the spring season. Um, and you just need to just be on the lookout for that, or you can come talk to me, and I'll be having forms put out, announcements made, um, and any of that stuff. You can always come talk to me. I'm in room 226 in the Social Studies hallway if you ever have questions about that sort of stuff. Thank you, Ms. Bueller. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, you two. If you have any other questions, you can ask Mr. Beeler in room 226. Fall sports have started up, and we have a lot of stuff coming up. Let's head over to the sports studio to get more information on that. Hey, everyone. I'm Cy Williams. And I'm Thurston Wanier. And welcome to sports. First up, football. Hey, wait. We play football, Cy. Yeah, we do. But you're not very good. 
Did you say something about me? Oh, yeah. You're the best player out there. Oh. oh. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Back to the important stuff. Football had their first game against Fort Osage on Friday, and this upcoming Friday is their home opener against Grandview. Make sure to come and support your boys in blue. The theme is blue out. Next up, girls sports. Softball or golf first? Hmm. Softball. All right. Varsity went undefeated in the Greater Kansas City Tournament over the weekend, beating Fort Osage in the championship game. Oh, JC and Mia interviewed head softball coach, Coach Ogle. Hi, I'm JC Kaler. I'm here today with senior Mackenzie Keller, who plays on the varsity softball team. How do you feel like this season is going? I think this season is going to like, go pretty good. Uh, honestly, we had a lot of spots to fill, but we have a really good freshman class, and our sophomore set up a little bit this year, so I'm really excited to see what we can do. That's good. And... For your future, do you think you're going to be playing softball in college? I'm undecided. If I do, I'll probably go to a community college and she's my employee. I am back again with senior Cameron Bond, who also plays on the softball team. How are you looking forward to the season? Um, I'm really excited for this season just because of the group of girls we have. It's a super fun environment this year compared to past years. That's good. And also, I heard that McKenzie Keller was going to play in college or might. Are you looking for that? Um, unfortunately, no, just because I'm so burnt out and I want to get my nursing education rolling and I feel like with softball that'd be hard to do. Okay. Right. Yeah. okay. Hi, I'm JC Kaler here today with Coach Ogle, head coach of the softball team. So what are you looking forward to this season? I'm looking forward to getting to build this team with this large group of seniors that we have. We have eight seniors um, and being able to kind of see what they can do with their leadership and their experience and kind of build on what we've grown for the last four years and see what we can do this year. Okay, and also, uh, what's your favorite part about being the head coach? Um, building relationships, getting to know the girls, getting to be a part of the program, um, getting to see what they do with their lives after high school. Um, it's really exciting to see what they do after they graduate, where they go, what jobs they have, what school they go to, if they play softball or not. Just being able to be a part of them and build positive relationships. All right, thank you, Coach Little. Thank you. <coughs> Very exciting. Last thing on our list is girls golf. Brock and Ryan interviewed a couple of the golfers about their upcoming seasons. Let's go hear all about it. Welcome back to GVTV. I'm your host, Brock Smith, and today I'm joined by three members of the girls' golf team. Today I am here with... Mallory Crane, sophomore. Cena Tyler, junior. Italia Haywood, sophomore. Girls, how do you guys feel last season went? Last season went well. We had a couple team members go to state, and we had some difficulties for sure, but overall it was a really good year for Grand Valley. I definitely agree with that. State was super fun. It was a great experience, but I personally did not perform my best. Yeah, I don't think I performed my best either, and so I think we're all just trying to work on getting lower scores and getting more in consistency. Talk about some of that preparation you guys have had for this upcoming season. Um, we've been practicing a lot. We've been playing every single day. We've had league throughout this summer, and we've had practice in the afternoon for the school. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. The league in the summer definitely helped, and I played in a couple of tournaments over the summer, and that kind of helps with pressure. Yes, we've mainly just been working on that short game and getting more practice time for consistency, which we lacked last year. With all that added practice, what do you guys expect to accomplish this year? This year, I hope to accomplish as a team, we make it to state. And individually, I would like to make it to state and hopefully finish in the top 15 to make all state. Definitely, we should go to state as a team. And I personally think I should qualify. And that would be huge for us. Same as them, state as a team and just accomplishing lower scores. Would you guys say that state is the most uh, most looked after competition you guys are looking forward to going to? For sure. There is a couple big um, tournaments with Blue Springs and Blue Springs South in it, which we have some really good competition with Blue Springs South especially, but state is obviously the farthest you can get. Yeah. <clears throat> it's also fun with Blue Springs and South because we actually know people and it kind of creates fiercer competition and state will be super fun because there's lots of private schools that add to the competition. Yeah, we're mainly just looking forward to state because that's just the biggest competition that there is. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today and good luck this season. I'm Brock Smith reporting for GVTV, signing out. Bravo, bravo, bravo. <laughs> Excited that all of these sports have kicked off. Make sure to go and support our student athletes at many of their games. You know I'll be there, and it looks like that's all we have for sports today. I'm Cy Williams. And I'm Thurston Winnier. And we out.
Those guys on sports were handsome, don't you think, Christian? Oh, yeah. I very much agree with you, Ty. Thank you all for joining us this week. I'm Ty Williams. And I'm Christian Lanier. And have a great week, Eagles. See, See you next time. time.